I got visual on the enemies. Lucky, where are you? I'll be there in a few seconds, Skull. Just go ahead and jump and I'll catch ya. Alright, Lucky, I'll see you when you get here. Now I'm ready. Thanks, Luck. I just need you to throw me here. Good luck, Skull. Hey, Luck, are they down? I guess I don't think they're getting up anytime soon, Skull. Great, then come on, let's go. Sure feels good to be me. You're late, Skull. Sorry, Wang. Got held up at work. Or my work? I'm assuming you mean dealing with Argon's thugs. Yep, pretty much. I defeated two of them this time, and now I'm meeting Baskin Robbins. Hmm, if you're sending more than one now, it might be time you got some help. Oh no, not this again. It might be time you join the Guardians now. I told you, I'm not about to have other people deal with my problems. Well, truth be told, these are not your problems, they're your father's. Doesn't matter. All that matters is Argon sent those thugs after me, and I'm not going back to the aisle. Very well then. If you're not going to listen to me, then listen to one of the military prime agents. Chloe! Uh, what do you want, old man? You want another ice cream? Nope. I'm just going to let you know you can reveal your cover. Ugh, finally! I've had to serve ice cream to three annoying families for the last hour. Bones, this is Skull. Skull, this is Bones. One of Military Prime's strongest agents. Hang on a minute. Your name is Bones? I get asked the same thing about your name, you know. Well, my father was an evil man who decided his son needed an evil name. What's your excuse? Frankly, I just don't like my name. It's stupid. Jeez, you're tall. How old are you? Eighteen, shorty. Well, I may be short, but I can still beat you any day. Let me make this clear, Skull. You do not talk down to me. Oh, and one more thing. I'm not another teen like you. I'm something else. You wanted to watch that, didn't you? Yep. To show you that you're not as strong as you think. There are always going to be people that are stronger than you. Which is why you need some good friends and allies to have your back. Well, when that day comes, I'll call you. But until then, I can handle myself. Heave my warning skull. <laughs> People stronger than me? Like who? Man, we're pretty much screwed. We're gonna have to go back to Argon empty handed. You crazy? Remember Robert? He's nowhere to been found since he went on his mission and failed. I don't think that means that Argon got to him. Oh, well, yeah, then what's the explanation? One flaming tavern, please. Sorry, sir, but you're not 21. It can't be. Hellfire's back! Hellfire? Hellfire! Hellfire! 
Wait a minute, this isn't the tavern on Main. Hellfire Brenton. You want a flaming tavern? You got it, man. So how long will it be before they bring you back, man? Actually, I might not have to go back. The boss wants me to capture one of our escapes. And the reward is my freedom from that hell. And if you fail, I can say bye to any chance of freedom. And we wouldn't want that. Here's the lighter, Hellfire. I'm also gonna need some hair dye and a razor. Anything for you, Hellfire? Cheers to myself. I'm coming for you, Armadillo. Hey! Hey, kid! Wake up! <sighs> Morning, kid. What the? Where the hell am I? Welcome to Military Prime Outpost 37. What the? Did you kidnap me? No, I didn't kidnap you. I had her do all the work. Thank you, Colonel. I think I'll take it from here. Nope. Nuh-uh. Not doing this. I'm out. If you leave, we'll just kidnap you again. Where's Lucky? Right over there. Lucky! Wake up! We're leaving! We gave him some well-cooked fish. He's not gonna be leaving anytime soon. If this is about y'all trying to convince me to join your flag football team, y'all can forget it. I told y'all I ain't interested. Actually, we're here to show you that you're not as strong as you think. Look over there. That's Galactic son, Lucas. He's an ex-hero. What's so special about an ex-hero? Ex-heroes are heroes who have done extraordinary deeds and have extraordinary amounts of power. They're high-level heroes who have taken a trial to show that they are worthy to be called an ex-hero. So if you think you're strong... Lucas is on a whole nother level. If you want me to fight him so I can show you that you're wrong, I'll gladly do it. Go ahead, no one's stopping you. I'm just warning ya, if you fight him, you'll probably die. Wait a minute, what superpower does he even have? Go ahead and fight him and you'll find out. Okay, then what about this? How did he get his powers? There are three ways a person can acquire powers. First, is if they were born with powers from a relative like you. Second is with an object a person uses, like me. And the third is by a nuclear accident of some kind. That is how Lucas gained his powers. And he's not the only one here who's acquired their powers that way. See Dr. Johnson over there? He acquired his powers in the same accident as Lucas. You're kidding. That guy has powers? Trust me, even though he's not on the same level as Lucas, he could probably still beat you. I hate to admit it, but even I am scared of his powers. Okay, why are you even telling me this? To show you you're not as strong as you think. If you join Military Prime and the Guardians Union, you'll be able to be much stronger because you'll have people helping you. I told y'all I'll join when I finish dealing with my problems. You don't understand. They're not just your problems if they're affecting everyone else. And I'll fix those problems also. I am the prophecy. I am the platinum warrior. How can you be a warrior when you're running away from help? What the? Something's wrong with the generator. Impossible. That generator has remained stable for the last 20 years. What's going on, Johnson? It's overheating. I don't know why. Impossible. We built that thing with an ice arachnum. How we get it overheat? Rock up. I'm going to draw as much power as I can from it. Everybody hit the bridge. That thing's about to explode. Ah! Lucky, run! Ah! Well, I must admit, it took a little bit of fire to cause that generator to overheat. 
But seeing all your allies knocked out and you on your knees warms my heart more than any fire I can make. Greetings, Skull Yango. Or should I call you... The Armored 